players who learn enemy moves and opponent tells and use that information to their advantage. So the best drawn to death players have fast reflexes, but they also have skill, tactics, and strategy to take out the competition. So the game's wide variety of characters is a huge aspect of drawn to death. Each character has its own behaviors, unique multiple special attacks, passives, and buffs. The characters are loaded with mechanics for players to discover, learn, master, and use to win the match. Now some of these moves and attacks will share with players right away, but others will never mention letting drawn to death players still discover mechanics, moves, counters, and tactics well past launch day. So characters are huge. The battlegrounds themselves are also littered with pickups of all types, very in the tradition of arena shooters. Now some of these are very cool and powerful, but traditional, but others, as we'll see here, are a bit more unique. This is Dodgeball Dan. Uh, he's the severed upper torso of an ex-championship dodgeball player, and he does a lot of damage. Uh, here's Drawn to Death's unique take on a flamethrower. We basically take gasoline and shove it into a dragon's mouth, and we're able to burn enemies to a crisp relatively quickly. So the battlegrounds in Drawn to Death, uh, they all come from the always creative, slightly twisted mind of this teenage kid. So from things he's studying in school to events happening in his actual personal life, no location, no idea is off limits. It gives us basically cool new worlds for players to explore and discover, as well as having an always surprising series of new battlegrounds in which to fight. And as you see here, from time to time, the teenage artist himself can even be called upon to come to the player's aid. So in this case, you're controlling them and taking out bad guys. Um, so that's the high concept of Drawn to Death. Now the game is still very much 